<laughs> music, improv, is there anything like you cannot do? Well, well, Heather, mom can't do, trust me. I can do a lot of this. By the way, there's so many seats available. Why is that guy sitting in the rafters? You guys up here comfortable? Hello, hello, hello. <laughs> so, this is like the end of our first day. It's been a long old day. How have you guys found it so far? How's Selva been playing? How are the people? We love it. We love it. Yeah, yeah, it's we great. thought, Tom thought we were in Wales. <laughs> now, mind you, it's called the Wales. I mean, that is a little bit misleading. It's a little bit misleading because they, they moved it over to Telford, right? It's a Telford takeover, but I can understand. He looks at me. Are we close to Wolverhampton? Look at the look he's giving. Wolverhampton? Yeah. Yep. No, we're not. We're not. Wolverhampton? Are we? Oh, okay. That's fantastic. I have a question for the crowd. Do any of you care about this? <laughs> <laughs> Cause I still don't understand where I am, but I'm with you fine people and I love it. Yeah. It's Wales. We're in Wales, right? No, no we're not. We're no, in... Wales is a different country. Like Ireland. <laughs> it is. It is, it is, it is. We're just on, on a detour. Where are you from? I'm from Brexham. So Wales, yeah. Brexham? I, know, I, know. I just had one of those exams. Wrexham <laughs> <laughs> oh, Re oh, Brexham. Re yeah. it's, it's, it's a lovely old town. Let's just leave it at that, I think. Um, God, I guess there's going to be loads of questions, so we should just dive right in. First question, somebody, hands, oh, right in, eager. Thank you. I'm so sorry, I'm going to be a bit cheeky. Um, our friend Jordan is getting married over in America today, and he Where loves, are you? Sorry. Over here. Oh, there you are. And Hi. he loves Smallville so much, so I wondered if you could possibly do a little shout Why isn't he here, here then? He's getting married today, today in America. Congratulations! Jordan! <laughs> Jordan, congratulations! <laughs> Thank where, you. Where is he getting where? married? In Utah. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Jordan! No, I love, I love Utah. Congratulations. He likes the guy. Okay. I bet you he likes it. Yeah, I like Utah. Utah. <laughs> but if he's getting married in Utah, maybe he's marrying a few people. Yeah. That's right. Oh, it's possible. Oh, How many people is he marrying, miss? One guy. One guy. He's one? marrying one guy. Yeah. Well, that's the luckiest guy yeah. in the world. For sure. Let him know that I said Merry Christmas. <laughs> Who was with the William Shatter? Let him know that I said Merry Christmas. <laughs> any, any message? All right, great. Thank you. Thank you, Jordan. Next question. Right. Yeah, where's the next question coming from? Over here, we have some. It's coming from here. <laughs> Hi, guys. Uh, what do you think was so successful about Smallville that's meant that even <coughs> almost 10 days later, people still love it? I don't know. You tell me. <laughs> It, sorry, it's, it's the story before the story. It started all the other shows. So if you want to see where it all stemmed from, I think Smallville may be the show for you. That's my thought. <laughs> you agree? Sure. Thank you. It's the Superman mythology. Everybody loves that. The good guy wins. He's a nerd. He fell in love. So you like a super hot chick. <laughs> No, but people love that story, yeah. right? Good wins. I think it, I also think that what resonated was a, was a show about a, about identity for all the characters. Who am I? What am I supposed to do? Where do I fit in in the world? And how do I deal with my psycho father? <laughs> <laughs> or my lying friend? <laughs> I mean, right? Would Lex be evil if? Uh... Was Lex evil? I don't think he was that evil. Oh. How was many hands that Lex was evil? Lex Evil, anybody thinks there's a few people out there. You oh, obviously yeah. didn't understand the show. Oh. <laughs> How many hands that Lex was not evil? <laughs> oh. I think he was just neglected. Neglected, like <laughs> myself. <laughs> Where How many hands yeah, it was all fun. Clark's fault? <laughs> said, How many hands it was all Clark's fault? <laughs> 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 yeah. well. right, we've got another question uh, from over oh, this way, is it right? Right there. Oh. <laughs> Afternoon, guys. What's up, Tiny? <laughs> <laughs> no, that's his name. Is it? That, yeah. that genuinely is my nickname. Tiny Hands. Tiny Hands. <laughs> we know what they say about Tiny Hands. Big, big feet? <laughs> nope. I don't know. I was asking. I don't know. Big <laughs> nose. Um, question, Tiny. Sorry. Um, this is a question to each of you. Um, what would you say is your character's defining moment in the show, in your own opinion? Laura? <laughs> I, gotta, I gotta think about this one, hold on. Erica? I wanna ask the audience what my defining moment yeah. was. I don't know. 
I don't care if the moment is that are defining. I think I don't want it just to be based on when she finds out the Clarks. And you don't want to objectify your own character. You can't judge your own character. No. But how, I, how about falling in love? With how, that's not a defining moment. That's, love isn't a defining moment. <laughs> <laughs> it depends. I guess I wouldn't know that. So maybe you're right. Your listen, guys. Listen. <laughs> We should answer this for each other's characters. All right. yes. what, do we, we, what do we all think Laura's defining moment was? Did you guys watch the show? <laughs> I think her defining moment was when you were directing and you were you had the squibs on. That's not a defining <laughs> moment. For gunshots. That was, that was the defining moment for Laura. Wasn't there, wasn't there some moment where you actually felt like you fit in instead of being an outsider? No, yeah, she was always an no, outsider. No, I was always... <laughs> Honestly, I was. at Clark? Michael took me out t-shirt shopping in Vancouver. That's the only time I hung out with anybody on the show. Because I was the new girl, like... Well, I think, oh, do you think that women know, sometimes feel threatened together. to other women? <laughs> I, okay, I'm going to attempt to answer your question. Wait, your I, question was about our characters. Yes, yeah, listen, I'm just going to say, I think it's when Kara decided to go off on her own. That's a defining moment there you as go. her character. Great. Independent woman. I think there was a one, one or two, I don't know, of course, what episode it was, but there was some point that Lois started investigating, and I suppose that's... Because that was her know? future, inevitably, right? Yeah, to be when I started reporter. to believe that I could be a good journalist. That's so defining. That's well, perfect. Lois, that somehow, defining. So, Lois somehow was so intrigued with this enigmatic character called the Blur. And Clark was always <laughs> he liked it, but he was he was a little confused as to how you fell in love with a guy who was just blurry all the time. You know, <laughs> but you were like so in, like interested and involved with him. So I'm getting deep here. I remember Clark being like, "This is so strange that she would be into a guy like that, even though that guy is me." But he was, think he was thinking too hard. Well, this was a defining moment for Clark. That's, yeah. Oh, okay. No, that's it. <laughs> I come back Do you know the defining moment for Lux? I think I might. Mouth to mouth on the beach? On the shore? That was refining. That was, that was a nice moment. When we had mouth to mouth, that was, he, I was trying, he was trying to save me. I was trying to allow him to. <laughs> I think Lex's defining moment was when he finally when he pushed his father out the window of that building and said, I guess I'm evil. Like he let it go, that was his, that defined him, that was it, because he had tried so hard. I thought you were doing your dad a favor. <laughs> yeah? It's hard to have a, Clark, have a child that's bad. It's like, wait, wait, say that again? It's hard to have a child that is psychotic, so maybe you were doing your dad a favor. He had to put up Wait a minute, did you just say that I was psychotic? Well, he had to put up with you, Lex. did him a favor. I know, Lex. We're still I'm talking about characters. Lex. I'm still in the <laughs> still that Lex inside me. I got that lexual feeling. <laughs> healing. Michael was called Sexy Lex today. Does anyone agree with that? <laughs> not, maybe not anymore. But um, I went to a, a concert one night. Remember the band Chicago? Remember, if you leave me now, I'll take away the biggest part of me. Right. Right, right, right. So I go to this, and I go up to get a beer. I just jump to the Yes. And I go up. <laughs> I was waiting for one more. <laughs> that one really. All right, neither can I. So I walked up to, shut up! And I walk up to the, uh, the bar, and there's this woman there, and uh, as I get a beer, I go, can I get a light beer? Because I like light beers. And she looks at me and she goes, Nobody asked. She goes, <laughs> she goes Why would you order a light beer? Yeah, the and she goes, mm-hmm. And I go, uh-huh. She goes, I know who you are. And I go, who am I? She goes, you Lex, baby. You Lex. And I go, awesome, but uh, do you want an autograph? She goes, no, I don't need no autograph. But you Lex, baby. I just remember, that was my defining moment. That was it for my, me. Nobody ever says that about Clark. Regis Philbin called me Sexy Lexi. I like that. Sexy Lexi. Remember, you can look it up, you did. All right, next question, sorry. How about you in the front row? Yeah. We're used to it. <laughs> no, I'm sorry. Hi, thank you. Hi, so this one's for Tom. So recently I saw you in Lucifer. I was a little shocked because you buffed up a bit. <laughs> You're making me feel old as well. <laughs> that was a character choice. 
Michelle, I'm just wondering, what was it like to go back into kind of a comic geeky world after a bit of an absence, and which would you prefer, the Lucifer world or well, Smallville? The, Lucifer exists in the DC Universe, in, in a way, but the, that, that show was filmed similarly to how uh, Smallville was filmed, and walking with Tom and Lauren, they were very welcoming, um, it was a lot of fun, and it was fun to play a character who, you know, Clark was very much unaware of pretty much everything. Um, except where, like, where his house was and where Lex's office was. Um, everything else, Clark was pretty clueless. Um, but I got to play a character who is sort of ahead of everyone with the chess moves, so to speak, and that was a lot of fun. Um, because at the beginning, I wanted everyone, in, when they started watching Lucifer, to be like, well, what is he doing? He's very boring. Why is he here? And then slowly reveal the layers to his character. And, and hopefully that worked. I was yeah. just happy to see you back on my screen. Thank you. Thank you. He was great on that show, too. You were great. Thanks, you did a great man. job. Thank you. Yeah. yeah. The best compliment was somebody was like, oh my god, dude, I didn't even know that was you. You look so much older. <laughs> no, you didn't know that. And I go, well, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm older. Yeah, isn't that the weird thing? People remember you from the show and they look at you and so it's like, you look old, man. I'm like, well, F you. I started that show 20 years ago. And it's like, most likely you do too. Yeah. One guy, you love this story, waited 20 minutes in line. I'm being sarcastic. It's probably eight. Eight minutes in line. And he walked up to me and goes, Gene Hackman was the best Lex Luthor ever. And I go, I agree with you. He goes, all right. <laughs> you waited in line for an autograph to say that. Yeah. It's like going up to a supermodel and waiting for 20 minutes and going, or eight minutes and going, you're not as pretty as Cindy Crawford. <laughs> right? Who says that? Exactly. How about that little kid on the end? Here, I'll bring it over, man. Batman switch? Here, stand up. Get over here. Come on. Come on, don't make me. I'm old. Walk, walk over here. You got a Batman shirt on? Sit right here. Sit down. Let's do this right here. What's your name? Chuck. Chuck. How do you spell that? J-O-C-K? J-A-C-K. Jack. What's your question, Jack? Who's faster, The Flash or Superman? The Flash or Superman? I don't know. Who's faster? I'm sorry, what, oh. what was that? Could you... He's a super girl. Yeah, she's a super girl. <laughs> who, who do you think, Jock? Hey, Jock. I think, from what I understand, Superman is faster flying, while the Flash, who can't fly, is faster running. I think he's right, Jock. Good question. Why aren't you wearing a Superman or a Flash jacket? He's a Jack. Flash fan wearing a... Yeah. All right, that settles that debate. Well, thank you, everyone. This was great. This is fantastic. There's a question over in this oh. corner on the left. Where is it? Not that one. You tell me it's a front row. Pointing. Just so you guys know, I can't see anything except blue shiny hey. foreheads in the front row. I saw you while I was buying toys a few minutes ago. That was, that was awesome. What's your question? Mine is the super girl. Fine. Right. Film you. You should film you talking to him right now. There you go. Don't waste your camera time. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, this is the super girl. How close did you get close to the cow till you was playing? How close did I get to? The cow. <laughs> the cow How close did you get to the couch when you were playing? <laughs> the cow told what you was playing. Copy that. Uh, on on Smallville. Um. I always say that when I first joined the cast, it was season seven. So I, like we already talked about, was the new kid um, in school. So uh, Kara herself was new to the planet and unsure of who she was and where she belonged and what she was capable of. So I think I related to her in that way in season seven. Um, I was terrified bitless to be a part of the series because it was such a great show. Um, and eventually she kind of developed into who I was as an actor and they started writing in that way a little bit more. But yeah, bye, Michael. Now, I have a question over here for this uh, young Harry for the question. Potter. What? Hi, I guess this is for probably Tom. Hi. And um, it's for all of them. What is your favorite scene that you enjoyed doing? Favorite scene we enjoyed doing. What's your name? Alana. 
Hello, Alana. It's a lovely name. You can sit down now. <laughs> Our favorite scene. Why don't we start with Erica? <laughs> you have a microphone. Sorry. Um, the strip tease. That was awesome. You guys like the strip tease? She'll do it again right now. I'm too old. Um, no, you're not. But originally, when the scene was set up, it was set up that she was supposed to strip and then get overly zealous and then fall and wipe out. And that's how they sold it to me because I thought she looked super klutzy. And then they just cut it out and I looked like I was a good stripper, which was kind of annoying. <laughs> but it's turned out. Ear muffs. Did you say a bad word? No. I stopped. Oh, she said stripper. <laughs> Jack? Muffs, new sweatshirt. She was undercover, it wasn't real. All right, we should probably go back there, right? Should I run back there and do questions? Is that all right? Pump, Any pump, questions pump, for... Pump. You're really close, though. Do you think it's fair to those people who are all the way back there and you're getting a real close look at Tom's figure? <laughs> this girl couldn't even get a chair. Okay, here's a question. So, um... This, okay. Even I, if I prefer you, I have a question for Tom, for my friend in Italy. So, uh, did you ever expect it to wear, uh, to play um, Clark again? No. <laughs> Thank you so much. Yes! Oh, you. You're welcome. Her friend from Italy is just going crazy with that response. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no! If you guys don't know this, it's tonight or tomorrow night, I forget, but the crisis thing is going... <laughs> Infinite Crisis! So Eric and I are both on it together, and when they called me, to, I, 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 it, no, the answer is no, I never even considered it. When they called me and they asked me, it, it's not like they call you and ask you, but they called and said, we have this idea, what do you think? And the short version is, when I heard it, the first thing I said was, shit. <laughs> and the producer who was talking to me goes, you all right? I'm like, yeah, give me a second. He's like, you still there? I'm like, yeah, just give me a fucking second. <laughs> and he goes, is something right? I'm like, yeah, I'm trying to figure out a reason not to do this. <laughs> and he goes, why? And I go, because this is a really good idea. And I think anybody who likes Smallville, anybody who likes Clark, they're going to like this idea. And he goes, okay, so you'll do it. And I go, no, give me another second. I'm trying to figure out a reason not to do it. And I couldn't come up with one. So we ended up doing it. It was great to be there with Erica. We were at the Kent Farm, as you'll see. And it's a really cool... I really like what we did. I like the way it turned out. And I think if you like any of the shows, especially Smallville, you're gonna, I, it, it really pays tribute to you guys as fans, what we do, so I hope you like it. Yeah! Well, I got a question back here. Uh, if I can be cheeky, I got two questions. You got cheeky? What's this cheeky thing? Well, let's, let's go with the first one. We got a lot of people asking questions. Go with your oh, favorite one. Okay, for all You don't have to warn us if you're gonna be cheeky. Just, <laughs> just be cheeky, right. just do it. Uh, Ask this question while I grab your cheeky. There are three <laughs> supermen here. Who is everyone's favorite Superman actor? <laughs> Christopher Reeve. Why don't you just say Lex Luthor or Gene Hackman is my favorite Lex Luthor? Right, Tom? Well, he's at Superman. That's true, you weren't ever Superman. Right. Until the last moment of Smallville. Yeah, but I thought he meant who's our favorite Superman, not our Superman universe. You weren't very specific, you were being cheeky. <laughs> he said he was going to be cheeky. What's the deal with cheeky? What is the deal with that cheeky guy? I think he smelled a little like booze. I think he was drinking, and it made me want to have a drink. All right, who's got a question? That person right there at the hand. Well, you're doing great. You're doing great. Uh, I've got a question for Laura. Yes, I was just going to say question Laura. For Laura. 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 What was it like playing Indigo on Supergirl? Where are you? Sorry. Hello, I'm still up here. You sound okay. like you're right here. Hey. Yeah. Sorry, what was the question? What was it like playing Indigo on Supergirl? Fun. <laughs> a little blue. Um, it was great though. They asked me to be a part of the show. I, I said, I, you know, I'd love to. I want to support the new show. I always thought she should have one. And I said, but I'd love to look different and be a villain. So that's how they came up with Indigo. Um, it was a lot of fun. Melissa's awesome, and it was about three hours in prosthetics, but it was it was great. Loved all of you in Super um, Smallville, by the way. Thanks, Thank all you. of us. Thank you. All right, how about that person with the yeah, they're over there. Hey, how's it going? Pretty decently. Good. Thank you. Good. Um, I was just wondering if you guys stole anything from the set. Yes, the answer is yes. 
I'm the only one. Unless maybe you guys stole. Do you stole something, Laura? What'd you steal? Don't say it. They're not gonna do anything. The show's over. My my uh, Kryptonian bracelet. They've been, That's where that went. They've been asking me for that still to this day. I, I, I wanted it and I went, I was trying to look for it. Yeah. But, what? Sorry, I took it. Erica? I stole the Lois Lane plaque. Good for you. I mean, you could have made one at Staples. But it's not the same. And I, I stole the coffee cup. Did you guys take the coffee cup? Did you guys take the backs of your chair? Yes. With your name? I did. Yeah. Alright, so we have some bona fide thieves here. I mean, they're going on and on. No, I, I took a lot. Anything else? I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> Tom, why don't you tell them what I've stolen? Uh, pretty much everything. Anything that... Like, he stole the... Anything Lex things. Zod jacket? I think you stole a Clark uh, red leather jacket. I still have that. They gave... I remember somebody being like... The hey, one outfit you wore? Yeah. Like the, the plaid or the blue? Are you in the red? The blue or the red. red, yeah. I wore two t-shirts the whole time. I have a, you know what I have which is pretty cool? It's a onesie Lex Luthor employee work shirt. Or a, ju a jumper with a zipper. It says Lex Luthor. I have that. You know, it would have been Do great. Do I hear $40? Do I hear 80 pounds for that sucker? Do I hear Lex Luthor's jumpsuit? 90 pounds. That would be perfect to wear here in Wales. I'm going to bring it to the next convention. I also have two white suits. Full white, the suits that I wore, one's in a museum in Kentucky where I went to college, and the other one's in my closet. I've got like the crystal, what was that crystal for the ship that opened the ship up? I don't know, it was crystal, I'm colorblind, I don't know what color it was. Doing this. I got the wine glasses, remember all the crap Lex would drink? Always at the bar, I got all those glasses. Uh, what else? I got Lex Luthor for president. Lex Luthor, I got shirts, I got pins, I got... What else? Please tell us. Uh, uh, I, Next I, question. Yeah, we'll, get, we'll talk about that later. Anyway. Go ahead, pick somebody. Hi, Tom. Oh. Uh, what, would it, what was it like working with Christopher Reeve? And do you feel like you passed the torch of Superman over to you? Oh, I, I can't see where you are. I'm sorry. Oh, thank you. Um, well, yeah, I was working with him, and he, he said something to me. He said, um, I'm really glad that, you're, that they've chosen you to be the next Superman, because the Superman movie was going to come and they said, well, they didn't. I'm, I'm not doing that. I'm, I'm here on, uh, on Smallville. I'm only playing Clark Kent. And he said, well, they should have. And that was really cool to hear from him. He was really special. It was very humbling and very cool. And he couldn't have been nicer. He was only supposed to work like an hour and a half, and he stayed like three and a half hours. And obviously, due to his medical condition, it was, it was a big effort for him to be there. And if you go back and watch that episode, his performance resonates in a way that I, I think not any other performance can, and, and he has, his body is not even a tool he can use, it's just the way that he speaks and the way that he takes his pauses. He, it was fascinating. His presence, right? Because yeah. I've met him before, and just the presence he has is welcoming, but so uh, just out of this world, yeah. for lack of a better, you know? It just, he, he felt like a Superman. He really did. He was, he was a Superman, yeah. Oh, oh, this must be Jack's Jock's brother, Spock. <laughs> if you could be any other character apart from your own, who would it be? Indigo. <laughs> <laughs> on the show? Yeah. Does Mono. it have to be on Twitter? I would want to be like Mono Lang. Lang in the Indigo oh. costume. Oh. I kind of have a what? crush on her. You want to be Mono Lang? Yeah. I wanted to be Justin Hartley. Does that count? Because he's freaking hot. Can I just be him? He's not a character. But... You can be Justin Hartley. Perfect body, right? I mean, like perfectly symmetrical breasts. Like, I don't know. I never paid that much. Well, I've seen his shirt you... off. He's oh, a good looking. I'm friends with him. I mean, this is envy. This isn't like I'm. Like an attraction, I'm just like, gosh. I, would... I mean, not that there would be anything wrong with that. No, I'm saying that's fine, but I'm saying I don't have an attraction. <laughs> I'm saying that, so, can't a man look at another man and go, gosh. You know, I'd wake up and I'd go, God, Tom's got a great face. <laughs> you know, it doesn't mean I want his face. I mean, I, next to mine. <laughs> I'm trying to say, hey, you're welcome, you're welcome. All right, Spock, thank you. Tom, answer that. None, I, why would I want There's to There's no other character, yeah, because why would you be, well, nah. Huh? Yeah. Martian Manhunter would be Wait cool. a minute, you're, you're, playing. you're sitting next to Lex Luthor. You wouldn't want to play Lex Luthor? No, because I couldn't do it any better. Uh, 
how can you improve on perfection? Thanks. <laughs> can you imagine me bald in a white suit? Dude, that would be powerful. That would be awesome. I've got a question just up there. Uh, Switch. Uh, firstly, I just want to say, or well, ask Michael, did you get plenty of guests for Inside of You over this weekend? I haven't asked anybody this weekend. Um, you know what I'd like to get is the guy, he's really nice, his name's Ian, he played uh, Ramsey Bolton in Game of Thrones. Yeah. If everybody goes up to him and says, you should be on Michael Rosamond's Inside of You, maybe that would be good. Sure. Who else would be good? I'll make a point of it. Uh, I was asking them, not you. Uh, and then just to all of you, I just wanted to ask, was there any part of your character arcs that you wish you could have changed, or if you suggested anything and he got shut down? Yeah, I wanted Clark to meet Bruce Wayne. That never happened. <laughs> now you met Jock! <laughs> the Batman, is that sure? Yeah. I think we have another question down on this part, is it? Jock's friend's friend, though. Jock's friend. <laughs> we, we don't actually know each other. You don't know each other? We're friends now. We yeah. do now. <laughs> um, I just wondered... <laughs> Sorry. I, like I just Jock. wondered, um, you all seem like really fun and friendly. Did you ever play any pranks on each other whilst on set? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. One time... Okay. Uh, diarrhea. No! <laughs> uh, <laughs> um, there was one time where Laura was supposed to get shot. I've told this story before if you guys have watched any of these online, but um, she had these squids on and they're, they're, it makes it look like you're getting hit by bullets. Tom crazy. was directing. And I was directing. And there's a countdown so it's safe because you can't look down as an actor because it might hit you in the face and stuff like that. Anyway, we're making it really safe. But we, it was, the count was one, two, three, and then the squids would go off. And then she was supposed to react, but she kept reacting like a second too early. So on the third take, I was like, all right, we're gonna go, one, two, three, go. And to surprise her, I go, one, two, and then they went off. <laughs> she was very surprised. And then she fell down like she got shot. So it worked, and I was like, great, we did it, moving on. What, yeah, Cause we did what, one take and I, I flinched too early and that's why he tricked me. But after I went down on the, the surprise one, I just gave him the finger. Yeah. <laughs> Not, yeah. but it worked. It totally worked, yeah. yeah. And we did things like we had, um, we convinced Michael that he had to do a green screen screen, green screen shot, which means he had to wear a green leotard. <laughs> Overlight my face. The only thing you could see was his face in front of a green screen. No, not only that, but I was on uh, ropes, wires. And, and, that was and, my, and it was my day off. <laughs> and we brought him in and we were like, okay, Michael, start below the frame and then like come up like you're a snake. And he's like, okay. So he's well, like, what he can't see because we're in the dark. Is me and the other people going? <laughs> and then somebody goes, "Okay, do it again, but slower." <laughs> and then we had him do spin around, and we had other stuff, and he, it was hilarious. You know what's funny is the, that that day was like one of those days where I wish I would have read the script because I thought maybe it was like a, some evil thing I become. Then I'm like doing all these things. Michael only read the scenes he was in because Lex Luthor doesn't need to know what everybody else is doing. Yeah, I was like, hey. So he didn't know why we're asking him to do it, and we knew that. <laughs> it was fantastic. Yeah. Christopher Walken used to say, I don't read scripts. You gotta find out what happens in it. <laughs> you do it. I know what you do when I'm not with you. And we used to do that all the time. The directors get so mad because we were either doing Keanu Reeves to each other with our lines. We are like, Clark, no. <laughs> Yeah, Lex. And we would do these things like, all right, enough with the can of rapes. You know, Clark, you look great. You wear the same shirt every day. And he's like, all right, enough. And we would do it all the time. It was awesome. It was awesome. Not for them, though. Awesome. You two ladies got any memories on that? Of any pranks on set? It's Nothing as cool as that. I mean, like, my pranks were just... Unintentional. Perhaps. <laughs> just goofs. Oops. Yeah, just just things that I did wrong. Tom also got me. Or sorry. No, you, that's it. I got. Okay. I mean, I don't really have that, anything that I did, but they did everything to me. Oh. Yeah. Well, Tom, remember we had the scene in the loft, and I was teaching. Well, you probably don't. Oh, when I, jumping out the loft. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm supposed to teach this him to fly, and. Um, 
I, I'm sort of supposed to nudge him towards the uh, the ledge. She's trying to get me over Clark's fear of flying. the leap to fly, because she can fly, and she's like, "Come on, Clark, I know you can do it. We just maybe I have to, you know, kick you in the ass out the barn door or the loft door." So the doors are wide open, which is a safety issue on set, as you know, because you were up there. Sorry. <laughs> Just setting the tone. Go ahead. I want to hear this. I don't know the story. No, I'm closest to the open loft barn door, and the idea is she's getting closer and closer, and I don't remember if you back up or not, but they go, cut. And I go, fine. And I just turn around and jump off, unbeknownst to her. Yeah, I didn't know this was happening. She didn't realize. There's no safety net or anything. She, had no, she even never got close enough to see that they were like, like, 15 stunt pads in case so you, you barely fell. fell a foot. So I fell like a foot, but out of her field of view. He, he was gone out of my view, and I was like, they're gonna fire me. I just killed Superman. <laughs> it was like my first season. Can I give an example of your reaction if they would have caught you it sure on Sure can, Michael. <laughs> Isn't that right? No. What, what was it? I don't remember a squeak <gasps> squawk. I think it was more just like a. Oh. <laughs> more like a oh my god and then just slowly walked away and hope no one noticed. I got in trouble for that. You're not supposed to do that. All right, not Jock's Row. Who's, who's next? Uh, somebody pick. Yeah. What? I have him. All right, I have grab that. In the very back. See that guy up there in the last seat for some reason when there's 800 in front of him? Get that guy. Hey, I have a microphone already. Oh yeah, right here. Let's go to this one. Oh yeah, let's go to that one first. I just want to say, firstly, Erica, it is all about you. Uh, and secondly, I want to ask um, if you guys could go back and give yourself any advice about how to approach your characters on the show, what would it be? How, how to... If you could go back to before you were on Smallville and give yourself some advice, what would it be? I, 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 I wouldn't. <laughs> I, would give my, I would give Tom advice. But as far as the character goes, I played a character, like I said, he didn't know what was going on, and I think that was. Well, I meant yourself, not your character. Yeah. So, what, what would you have told Tom before you do it? Oh, thank you, <laughs> I mean, there are a lot of things we can talk about right now, but the one that they would care mostly about, not you. I, I would just say, "Are you sure you want to do this?" And I'm not talking about the show. <laughs> Of a certain thing. Just like, just... Oh, do you want to, for instance, you sure? do you want to do your own stunts in this scene? Are you sure you want to, you know, you just worked 18 hours. Are you sure you want to drive two more hours to work six more hours? Are you sure? Yeah, there were some things that were definitely dangerous early on, like his hours. We had to, we, I think we talked to Warner Brothers. We, this was in the press, though. Uh, we got to leave? Tom. All right, well, this is great, though. Yeah, we should probably quit soon. Tom, I heard that you fell asleep at the train tracks one day driving home or something because you had worked for so many hours. I did. So that's how dangerous it was. It felt great. I mean, once I woke up, it was great because I wasn't moving. But yeah, it was bad. It was bad. We were on this thing where all the cast members were supposed to get the same drivers or treatments or shuttles to and from work. Um, but I was carrying a, a, a great deal of the workload. It was unsafe and the cast members got together and signed a piece of paper saying that I could get a driver so that I didn't die. And I appreciate it. Yeah, and it became part, it was in effect for all the other shows after that. Like, yeah. I think you started, that was the Tom Welling rule. It was like, you gotta protect your horse. But yeah. I, on the other hand, would drive home from work going, I'm gonna just, get the wheel on, I can't see anybody anymore. I'm tired. Michael, God. Michael, what, what would you have told yourself? I would have told myself, I, um, I don't know, maybe wear more comfortable shoes for the first few seasons. Really wear something comfortable. Because I, I learned from Tom one day, I, he's wearing his, you know, the flannel and the jeans, and I look down, he's got these sandals I'm on. sorry, did you wear four-inch heels for seven years? Well, hey, th this could be the question for you asking yourself. I, I know what it's like being a woman. I've been in drag for months. And she's doing stunts in heels. I lost a half an inch from my foot size since being a Really? Yeah. Yeah, I feel sorry for you guys. That's such a fact. Because I've like they've all kind of like stretched back out. Eric, in fact, I was in the crapper like an hour ago. Yeah. And I noticed like the men's room is always clear and the women are always lying. I feel so bad. It's like this sucks. They should make more crappers for women. They should make way more about it. Yeah. We just take longer. You take longer because you you talk, don't you? I'm kidding. I'm kidding. It's a joke. I'm gonna answer your question. 
question I would have told myself. To hey, how's you doing over there? Shh. Guys, don't go. Hey, Sam. This is nice like all the time with Michael. So this is for him. This is set. I would have told myself to to trust myself a little bit more because um, I was really always second guessing everything and everything had to be perfect. But then on the flip side is kind of what made Lois a little neurotic. So maybe it worked. Yeah, you were a real professional though. You were like a consummate pro. You were so driven. Were you and... about to say something to me? <laughs> me? I thought you were setting it up and then you were gonna be <laughs> No, no, but I, I can see why you say that about yourself because you know, there are moments doing scenes with you were, what? I was too intense. No, yeah, mostly you were too intense. You just, you, you were so hard on yourself. Everything you did being. made Lois who she was. And I think yeah. that's a good This is like, God. We love you. <laughs> yeah. I actually did have one guy talk to me in the bathroom once. I'm taking a pee and I'm holding myself. And he's like, hey, hey, no, no, it's not dirty. Jock, earmuffs. I just, hang on, he goes, quick. I guess it is cold. Michael, Lord, he didn't say it was cold. I know, I was just finishing a thought. I know, I'm just talking about myself. No, I wanted to say something. Go ahead. Uh, you and your pocket. You would have told yourself? Uh, I would have. Probably give him Where are you going? Of... Where are you ladies going? Tom, Laura is trying to talk! I would have said to myself, have more fun. Similar... I got yelled at for that. Similar... <laughs> Similar to Erica's response of not taking it so seriously and, and, and trying to just live in the moment. And Because I don't remember the majority of it because I was so worried about making a mistake. Also, to your credit, you guys came on as guest stars, really. You didn't know how long you were going to be there. Come out as a... No! That's true. I it's true. Oh. Four episodes. Wait a minute. Laura, you came yeah, in what season? Four episodes. Seven. So you weren't a regular, so it's nerve-wracking. If I would have came yeah. in, it's not... What the hell? You know what I'm saying? You know... Yeah, if you're not one, two, or three in a show, you're going to get punted if you're not careful. Right? right? Thank you, Erica. I just feel bad for yelling at you. No, don't go bad. I'm going to go back to that story. So I'm real quick. I'm, I'm peeing next to this guy. And he just goes, Hey, man, aren't you Lex Luthor? And I go, Cool, and I'm peeing, man. I'm holding my wiener. Ask me outside the bathroom. This is weird. And he was like, Sorry, dude. That was it. You, you talked to him in here. You were totally fine. I talked to him, and I was like, Hey, dude. I'm, t I'm holding myself. Can we do this later? I was nice about it. I didn't yell at yeah, This is Little Lex. <laughs> <laughs> this is Little Lex Luger, as I like to call him. Anyway, I guess that about wraps it up. Yeah. <laughs> I know. Time for one more. One more. Uh, who's the next panel? This is it. No one. Yeah, so let's keep going. No, I'm waiting for it. I gotta get on. I, I think we have time for one. Can we get one more? Or... No pressure on you. One more back there. That girl right there. Go. We have oh, nowhere to go. We can stay. Oh, you're hungry. Just get some drinks or something. Oh, Five minutes. We need to eat. She needs to eat. I got pressure. This That's isn't helping. This isn't end. helping. Some granola bar sandwich. Yes. Hello. <laughs> Greetings. Um, Zard, is that Zard? <laughs> yeah. Jesus Christ. Greetings. Yes. Uh, what was it like filming that final scene in season seven finale when Lex was like, you know, you're, my, you're still my brother? I don't know, how was it? I remember it was kind of a little emotional because I was done. I was like, hey, I'm, after this, this is my last season, so I'm, I'm done. So I remember, hey, this is the end. Which was pretty much when I came back for the final episode. But yeah, I, I, uh, I think, were you on top of me? Yeah, he was on top of me because the whole thing collapsed, right? You don't remember, but I remember you were on top of me. How could I forget that? It was memorable. Four questions. No! I love them. I gotta go. Right Did you already ask a question? Hello. Alright, here we go. Um, I know the whole point wasn't to see Superman. It was about... Correct. Are you sad you never really... No. No, not at all. No types, no flights. The show was about Clark. It wasn't. It was not a show about Superman. And the idea at the ending, hopefully, it yeah. was, was that he he went there 
Yeah. But we couldn't go with him, and I hopefully that filled your imagination with. Yeah, what no, it totally did. Yeah. I just wanted to know if you were just. No, I never was like, come on, guys, give me the suit. Come on, let me wear the tights. Come on, guys, come on. We all want to see him in tights, Michael. Do you wear the suit in crisis? No, no. Oh. You, you haven't seen it yet? No. I think it's already out in the states. No. Oh. Is it tonight? Yes, Is it tonight? Let's talk about it in tomorrow's panel. Thanks, gentlemen. Somebody has to be on Thanks, guys. We wouldn't be here without you. Thank you.